everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today I'm all about jigsaw puzzles. Well, I'm about jigsaw puzzles in a lot of my videos, but today I'm super focused on Zazzle jigsaw puzzles, introducing to you where that is, how you can upload them, as well as the quality and a little time lapse of me actually doing one of the puzzles that I've received. I don't want to talk much. I want to take you to my computer and show you how this goes on Zazzle. There hasn't been a full tutorial on Zazzle in this channel. If you want me to make a full video just about Zazzle, please let me know in the comment section down below. But you know what? Let's just dive deep into Zazzle, into cell on Zazzle. And what I need to do when I'm here is go to cell. And then I have images, collections, my store, earnings, and over a thousand products to design on. I'm going to click on view all and then scroll down and type in puzzle. Now, they have various different puzzles. They have an 11 by 14 inch, 225 pieces, eight by 10 inch, 110 pieces, 16 by 12 inch, they also have 20 by 30, which is 1,014 pieces, 11 by 40 with oversized pieces. So that's 30 pieces for that size instead of 252. They also have acrylic puzzles, which is quite unique as well as another oversized piece puzzle and another 20 by 20 puzzle, which is quite nice. I don't think that a lot of people see the square puzzle so much. I mean, it's like one by one ratio and it's kind of adorable. And let's say you want to design your puzzle. So let's go into one of the bigger sizes first, which is the 16 by 12 inch. And what you have to do here if you want to basically sell it is to create your own design, which is to add image. And again, I'm doing this while I already have a store on Zazzle. If you want me to show you the full thing, how to do it, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm just going to, I was trying to look around here and just, you know, see the product or layers. And then it says dimensions are 16 inch by 20 inch. And it's not really easy with this part to basically, you know, I don't know, just try and see you know, what are the specs? What are you supposed to do? Uh, I mean, like, what, what are the sizes that I'm supposed to be uploading? And then I just, you know, went to my files and let's just choose one of these. So this is one of my liquid art designs made using Procreate. And if I go to my layers, I can see this as artwork, but I can't really see anything here about the dimensions, about if I have, you know, how, how big is the DPI? So you do have to rely on yourself to make a file that's big enough. And as much as you can see here, the guidelines, you do have to remember that when you're designing a puzzle, you can activate it on multiple, multiple puzzle sizes. So I am designing this on this side. And when I decide that I'm done, I'm just going to click on done and I can edit it or sell it. Now, if I'm going into the 11 by 14, checking how it looks, going to the 16 oversized pieces, the 8 by 10, it looks good. The 11 by 14, the 16 by 20, which is the original one that we've designed, as well as the 20 by 20, which in here, you'll see that it's white. So let's edit this design again and drag it to fit here. Now, I know that this will be good enough because I know that the original file is big enough. The original file was 7,500 by 6,000 pixels with 300 TPI. So there is no reason why it wouldn't look good on a puzzle up to 30 inches. And let's say I'm done. And here I can also check if it's looking good on 20 by 30 inches, which it does, and then sell it. Now, when I go to sell it, I need to give it a title. So this would be my, let's call it liquid dreams in green. And then I need to choose a category, which is the toys and games, because that's what they do. And I can describe, tell the story of what it is. So for example, if you're uploading a horse photograph, like I was photographing horses in the mountains of Albania, or just write something about it. So for me, it would be something like, this is a liquid art design I made using digital apps to give the feeling of a twirling dream. The minimal color usage makes it hard, a hard puzzle to solve, even when it has fewer pieces, which is true. I don't know if you've seen my Society6 puzzle video, but it took forever to do that one. So yeah, sell this design on all options. And then I have categories here, which are not really relevant and tags. So my tags would be, and you can use 10 tags, would be green, black, 
dream maybe swirl twirl art acrylic pouring paint pouring liquid art artistic puzzle let's do hard jigsaw puzzle as well and see how much we have here we have all tags used well you know and you need to choose the rating which means r is for grown-ups like mature content pg 13 is over 13 years old but this would fit all ages so it's a g and the product visibility will be public and if i want to show a customize a button for the actual buyer to customize the puzzle so i'm going to say yes Maybe, I don't know, maybe they want to add like white text on it, which they can do with Zazzle. That's pretty awesome. And then I need to put in my royalty information, which means how much I will get. And I added a roughly around 20% for my puzzles. And it's a new product. I have 24 hours to finalize the royalty and then it stays. And I have the rights to publish it, which means I have like, I have the rights for this. I'm not violating anyone's copyrights. And post it. Now I can email it to someone. I can send them a direct link. I can see this one in my store. You can see here the other puzzles that I have designed as well as ordered. So it takes me to my store, but it's not yet appearing because it takes it time to be approved and to upload. And as you can see here, I have a cat here or basically two cat photos here. I have my liquid art design and my just, you know, just a pride flag made with like squares it's pretty cool to design anything in their system i just literally made this puzzle from having like squares on the puzzle surface now i want to show you guys what i actually ordered so i ordered an 8 by 10 inches puzzle of 110 pieces of this little cute cat photo as well as another liquid art puzzle of 11 inches by 14 inches of 252 pieces now this is where things get annoying both of these puzzles are manufactured by the same place and shipped from the same place and were ordered at the same time and got one tracking code. I was contacted by FedEx a few days, weeks after that I need to pay a price for this package because tax was not calculated upon ordering, which is completely fine. The tax was 27 lira. Oh, wow. Like 27 lira would be 14 it was 27.9 level would be 14 euros that I had to go to the bank and transfer the money up to FedEx just to get my package released from customs and when I got my package released it looked like someone took the puzzle box and literally put their foot down on it I don't know what's going on with FedEx these days but they're stepping on my products and that's annoying which completely destroyed the box of the puzzle now I went and I paid FedEx for this order and then kept getting messages from FedEx in Bulgarian about paying them for my order from Zazzle now I made one order from Zazzle for two products that have one tracking code which led me to think that i'll be getting one package so i texted fedex again hey i've already paid for this and they said thank you and then i only got one puzzle on the way again there is one tracking code for this parcel from zazzle one not two i got one puzzle and the other one was shipped back to zazzle oh <sighs> this could have been avoided if zazzle were actually honest with the fact that there are two packages and two tracking codes and I, I i don't even understand why there are two packages there is one tracking code showing unable to deliver on january 6th so i don't know i'm kind of baffled i i don't even know if the other package is going to come here or not i do know that i have a package here and it's been completely demolished by fedex i mean this was stepped on which is annoying. The actual photo here when I got this looked to be in like overly saturated from the design that I actually made for this puzzle, which kind of got me thinking, oh, the, the, also the quality is not good. And then I opened it and the pieces are just lying in there. I mean, they weren't even tied up in a bag or anything. And there was something kind of weird in the back of the pieces. They feel like they were made from some sort of really dense cardboard or plastic. And the back of the pieces looks like this. I don't know really why. And uh, I was kind of bummed out. And then I made the puzzle.
wow, that was really fun to do. That was actually a fun puzzle to do. And the pieces actually felt quite nice. As I was connecting them, the pieces were so unique in their shape. Some of the pieces were like extra curvy or had these like little edges, which really made the puzzle a lot of fun. I'm kind of disappointed that my second puzzle hasn't arrived. I don't even know how to track it because the tracking codes on Zazzle are not correct. So I'm kind of pissed off. And of course I'm pissed off at FedEx because the, like the package was completely destroyed. I'm really upset. And as for the colors, ugh, as for the colors, as you can see here, these colors were actually not true to the puzzle. So this was overly saturated from the photograph that I actually uploaded, but the puzzle itself was correct to the photo that I uploaded. So that is important. I do believe that a lot of these problems stem from the fact that, again, I am located in Bulgaria and I'm assuming that most of the clients are going to be from the United States. And I do still think that I'll be working with a supplier because it sort of checks all my boxes. One of the reasons why I really wanted to invest my time with Society6, first of all, you know, because I really like to put my liquid art on it. And I was really looking forward into combining their puzzles within a shop that I'm making, like a website that I'm making called Miss Jigsaw, which will also have a YouTube channel. A lot more about this will be discussed in the next few months as I will be building this project and letting you know, you know, the progress, how it goes, marketing, how many sales, blah, blah, blah. And this whole thing, this whole idea came from the fact that Society6 allows its users, its artists to also be a contributor, like an affiliate and get a commission if someone buys from someone else. Like if I send traffic in to my thing and then someone buys from someone else, I still get money, which is awesome. The thing is, Zazzle also has that. They have an automatic curator link that not only comes automatic with affiliate marketing, but also integrates automatically with WordPress to actually show the physical banner of this product without actually having to save the photo or download it. So knowing these things about Zazzle, knowing that the only problem with the quality and getting my packages was the Bulgarian post office, I am fully pushing forward with these puzzles. I can't believe I'm actually making a review where I'm saying, hey, go ahead and order, and this is like good quality, but totally like someone stepped on the package. It has nothing to do with Zazzle. The puzzle has been amazing. I guess it would have been nicer if the puzzle pieces were actually wrapped inside. I'm guessing, even though it's more eco-friendly that they're not, but maybe a nice sash would have been nice, but this is still a high quality puzzle. I do think that it's kind of weird because like the box is so much bigger than the puzzle pieces. I remember looking at the Society6 box of the Jigsaw puzzles and you can go ahead and check out the video about the Society6 puzzles as well. It's been amazing, but I do remember like putting the pieces back in. The Society6 box was pretty much filled all the way when in here I can pretty much, you know, put in like four times or five times this puzzle in this box. So the box is definitely too big for its own good. Maybe they use the same size for all of them. I would have loved to have seen it with the 11 by 14 inch puzzle, but I can because it never came. <laughs> By the way, if you like this video and found this content useful and want to see me keep spending money on print and demand products and testing it for you, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. There are a lot more product reviews coming up, also puzzle related product reviews coming up and I do enjoy making them and I, I was kind of wondering, do you guys like more design videos, marketing videos? product review videos, please let me know. I made a small poll in the community tab of this channel. So go ahead and vote and let me know what you prefer. Do you like product reviews more? Do you like design with me tutorials? Do you like more marketing videos or showing you new suppliers? I would love to know the answer to better make content fitting for you. And of course, if you have specific products that you're interested in, or if you know more suppliers that sell jigsaw puzzles, please let me know. I am hot for the puzzles. And with that being said, and this with adorable little guy here, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!